and chat. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, where we just had a shitload of crazy revelations. Um, wild stuff happened. And we finished, uh, we finished a couple stories. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Takatoshi is up next. We've only done 14% of his story. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this goes. This is it, all right. It's a far cry from the school I remember. Sneak in! Now, I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well... It's certainly seen better days. Are you gonna live here now? So he was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to. But if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. The so the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we know. You took that in stride. It feels like just yesterday I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now four decades have passed in a blink of an eye. Like a fairy tale. <laughs> no, they haven't. <laughs> oh, right. That's the ghost that Keitaro saw. Lady would be. Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. Oh, that's a little forward of you. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... Back in your disguise, I guess? You could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? Would you? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. <laughs> time travel is real, except it isn't! <laughs> Trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world, and they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is why are they coming? Destroyers. The answer is in something called the decode. Let me try and break this down for you. There are other humans with modifications like you and Murakun. And they're beaming out these signals, calling the destroyers here. Right, because we just got this information from Benji. Even though they have no That's why this yet. unlocked. The other threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? 
But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. There's too many unknowns with the inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. Another, mispronou uh, another mispronounced word. Inner Lossiter. So this inner Lossiter... It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. A few hours later, okay. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. That, I can absolutely believe that's the first time you've ever done that. Mm, Loki now. Still no sign of him. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world, but if there's one exception... It's my yakisoba pawn. He told me to wait until noon. It's probably past noon now. I can only waste time napping for so long. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here. So I'm not supposed to go outside, but... Leave the wooden school building. Come on, Takatoshi. You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. Oh, we're gonna get in trouble. So basically... You mean... But then that means the dream is... Really? Finish your sentences. Uh, huh? Hello. Students' duty should be to focus so on their studies. This kind of mean hanky panky has no place here. That means the dream is... They're just really? talking, Takatoshi. <sighs> Not that that so girl wasn't cute, I suppose, but mean? clearly she has no eye for men. <laughs> really? Uh... Huh? So oh, look at that stiff run. Look at that. Oh, uh, choices. Okay. Uh, go to the schoolyard break area. Oh, I wonder if he's ever had soda at this point. Pull something out of the trash. Anybody in there? Go to the schoolyard. It's not like that. Oh, Miwako and it's Toby. Yours, you think so? Did you see him? That boy was so cool. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta go back then. Can't run into Morimura. Now we go to the break area? Anyone here? No. Maybe I had to sneak past? Oh, nope, this is a... Oh, is this the right way to go? Yeah, it is. That's... 
You the one? Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so, uh, what's this about? He's gonna have um, Takatoshi knock you out. I like you. Uh, seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kizaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. What? No! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! You don't go for another fella's girl! Okino is... not your girl, Takatoshi. Huh? What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! <clears throat> oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... We've got a martial pecking order establishing. I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun. This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were just Sure was. I... Of course not. I'm sorry for hitting him. You can... Like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? <sighs> Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Ninji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. <sighs> and from there into the, the uh, hideout, maybe? False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. You should feel bad for him. You decked him for no reason. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Ninji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. Takatoshi with question marks over his head. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 sentinels at them and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game changer than one or two sentinels. That alone's not going to make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. There. We've got a clue. Okay. Is this where we take Nenji and kidnap him? But I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So, where does that leave us? <sighs> Morning, Hijiyama-kun. What? Was that all an imagined spot? Okay, no. What's going on? Were you doing that to me, to uh, Takatoshi first before Nenji? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code, and I have to say it's been very thought-provoking. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... Why are you getting so worked up now? Okay, how big was this time jump? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? Did you always experiment on him? What? Even if that's partially true, things are different now. Untie me before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. 
You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama kun. Stop toying with me! Well, why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about it. Wow, Okido's huh? kind of an asshole. I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop. Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it! Stop, please! Well, that's a hell of a to be continued. Let's let's continue. Sure. That confident flat sure after what we just saw. Come on. What, we're not going to continue off of what just happened? Like I've woken up from a terrible dream. Oh, we're in his mindscape again. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? Excuse me. Noodle stir fr I don't trust it. The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged. So the Sentinel's a weapon? It's strange this... All right, back to Sakura High. I judge the walking distance right. I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. Are you too proud to uh, beg for money? Because you might consider I doing see. that for a bit. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino? Are you expecting them to be here? Oh, there you are. Hi, Fluffy. Okay, now. There you go. What's going on? Why do I feel like this? I see you made a friend. Eh, just a stray cat, that's all. I just gave it a little food. Now it shows up here all the time, so I ended up bringing food for it every day. I suppose I can relate. You used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I don't think you've done much taking care, Okina. I okay, didn't no. ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? The cat has a name, apparently. Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. Pet the kitty. Aww. Bye, kitty. Something under the can. Is it money? Looks like a hundred fifty yen. A dollar and fifty cents. Hooray! That actually probably covers oh, a, you know. a couple of bus rides. Um, or maybe a drink from the soda machine. Are you still trying to look after me? I wonder how much. Soda costs in 1985 Japan. Uh oh. Whoa, she's one of the teachers at the school. I should go somewhere else. God, she's hot. Let's go get lunch. Isn't she? 
Oh, it's Megami. She doesn't recognize me. And then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Wait, if she's a student here, then that means it must be sold here at the school. This is where I can find that Yakisoba pond. I wonder when Yakisoba pond um, was first made. Like, when did that start? Please. Or rather, your last Yucky Silver Pod. Oh, no doubt about it. This is the same Yucky Silver Pod from back then. It's too much. Wikipedia says it took off during the 50s. Interesting. Well, it's that or starve. I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. <laughs> I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Oh. Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? Sure ain't. Oh. Uh, never better. Was that your stomach? Uh... I know. What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yakisoba pan? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose I'll take you up on Thank that. her. Yakisoba pan. Thank her! Dramatic music for enjoying food. Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious exist? In well, part of it is that you haven't had anything to eat for three days, so psychologically you're conditioned to enjoy whatever you get. <laughs> the man has found God. <laughs> Should have thanked her immediately, Takatoshi. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Eat the pun! Now, time to finally enjoy my... Don't offer them the yakisoba pond. Do you want half of this yakisoba pond? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. 
You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. Fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Did Megami get kidnapped too? Good grief. Maybe not? You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. Oh, right! He saw her when... Um, she showed up and rescued Neji. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it. Or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba Pan. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet. That's all. <laughs> yeah, variety's the spice of life, Ta Takatoshi. Try something. Wow. Can't argue with that logic. Huh. Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Draws her gun and shoots him. Wait, have we met somewhere? <laughs> She's the girl who saved me. She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel. Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite. Uh... I'm sorry. So I guess. Yucky. Um. Soap upon Angel. I guess Fluffy gave her the mission to save Nenji. Eighty percent are over eight. Currently at five. Come on, Neji's cleared. I guess. Uh, I guess we'll keep going with Toby then. Hmm. Where were we in Toby's story? It's been months. All oh, right, Miwiko is in. Not the future. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't read the summary above uh, the thing. Whoops. Well, you know, that's where we time slipped from. Oh. Maybe we can find a clue on how to get back. Anything. In the far off future, Shikishima planned to colonize other planets. And the Kaiju Bless you. were tools for terraforming the surface. What are they doing here in the past? Morimura. Megumi. Were they planning on fighting those things? Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on employer of the year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders. But they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. 
Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. How much world is there beyond uh, the confines of your city? About my apartment. The whole building was destroyed. Oh no. And, well, no one was there. <laughs> Bless you. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Hiding, maybe. We checked out the kaiju. Turns out it's not a monster at all. Not an alien weapon, either. It's heavy machinery, made by Shikishima Industries. Heavy machinery? You mean, like, for construction? Yes, and it's being used for destruction. You were attacked Bless you. something like that? They're from an interstellar development project even farther into the future. Guess they were supposed to do work on some other planet. No idea why they went back in time. God, seeing all this after the revelation of the parallel, um, parallel, uh, cities is so wild. Or why they're destroying everything here. Can I talk to Denji? Here, found him at a convenience store over there. Got enough for both of you. Chocolate! I'm not a big candy guy, so have at it. Thank you! Oh, you can't talk to me, Wicko, anymore? <sighs> There's no time to be tired. What I need that makes me feel a is a sugar rush. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Talk about the... Uh, talk about the school. You know, you might be onto something, Miwako. The school. Morimura was always there. So I'm thinking, maybe there's a time machine there. Morimura? You mean our teacher? Oh, yeah. That nurse with the big knockers. Well, you don't have to put it like that, Nenji. It's true, but you shouldn't say it. She's from the future, too. Huh? In fact, she came even farther than me. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. Oh, I can go to these places by talking to Ninji. Okay. So how was it? Well... How about we burn something? You know, put up a smoke. That'll cell. just attract the kaiju. Might be airplanes flying overhead. That way they could find us. Uh, let's. I'm gonna go check out the kaiju. Huh? You stay here, Miwako. Yeah, let's look around everywhere but Sakura High. This place again. Didn't we already check everything? Did Nenji already try that? Because he'll probably be able to. It's gotta be you. Yeah, all right. Yeah, he did already try. Right, this is where we learned that he's on the Shikishima board. We just gotta wait them out. Guess those are the specs on this kaiju. 
I was hoping for something more useful. All right, to the apartment. Apartment. Oh, I can't go to my apartment. Okay. Soccer a high. Let's go back to the school. What about that second year? We're just gonna leave her here. <sighs> oh yeah. I guess Miwako is gonna stay behind, and she will not be able to handle uh, Ryoko. I'll stay here with Senpai. You two go on ahead. Appreciate it. We'll come back as soon as we can. That is the first time I've ever seen pre appreciate abbreviated like with two that. P's. Rough roads over here. Well, aren't you cool? It took a while to get here with that blocked off road. Some of us have our eye on the time. Anything to think about? No. <gasps> Yo, a sentinel! But whose? That's one gnarly robot. Another kaiju thing? No. This is Sentinel number 13. A robot that fought to protect the city. We got kaiju fighting robots now? The future's wild, man. <laughs> it really is. But I guess in the end, it lost, huh? <sighs> the last time I saw this thing. It was right before I got taken away. Uh, yes. Mom! She's not here either. Kisaragi-kun. Oh. Please don't trouble me any further. Come. We must evacuate. Just give me a second. I'm not leaving without my mom. You must. You're the only one capable. The Daimos invasion has already begun. Listen to me. No! We're already within their attack range. Are you gonna... knock her out, or...? Sentinel. It's too soon for another deployment. This is Juro. Easy me. I'm going to take them on. What are you doing piloting that? This is Sentinel number 13. There's no one else who can pilot it but me. Sorry to rush you, but we're running out of time. Doesn't somebody else have number 13 in um, in the combat uh, part of the game? I'll go when I find my mom. <sighs> oh, shit. It's Morimura. Change of plans. Juro Izumi's made his choice. His nanomachines aren't going to hold much longer. If we don't begin the test now, we'll miss our chance. The evacuation can wait. Hurry and bring that girl over. <laughs> Case Argy story 50% cleared! Alright, let's... Uh, let's continue. She appears to be okay. This is bad. What's up? Yeah, what happened? What happened? Did she escape? Shinanome Senpai, she's gone. What? I only looked away for a second. What should we do, Sami chan? In the far off future, and the kaiju were tools for terraforming the surface. What are they doing here in the past? Morimura. Megumi, 
Are they planning on fighting? Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. You always see their branches on back by the dirt and What should we do? Well, I don't think we have the resources to track her down. Exactly in a state to be running any marathon. Well, that's true. We need to find her. She might still be nearby. Let's split up and look around. Got and if Miracle finds her, she will not be able to capture her. Okay. I'll go check across the street. Thanks. Maybe she went off to the shopping district. Excuse me. Senpai! Oh, hi, Ninji. Oh, where could she have gone? I don't know what to do. Is she back? She's not back. I like this dramatic music. she uh, went to Sentinel number 13. What about the Sentinel we saw? Maybe she went over there. Big guy did stand out. You want to go? Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. She might have also gone to the school. Why here? I figured... If Senpai's trying to get to the school, she'd probably come this way. All right. She wouldn't know about the messed up road. Is she here? She is not. A sentinel, huh? Did you find footprints? In asphalt? Thought I had something. Nope. Anyway, we need to find a lead. All right, back we go. Let's go to the school. No. We need to explore more thoroughly. Oh. Fair enough. Anything? Hate to break it to you, but I don't think she's come by here. Any more is a waste of time. Let's go back, Kisaragi. Uh, I guess now we go back. Shinonome, senpai. Less thinking, more walking. Let's go, Kisaragi. Well, I guess there would be a layer of dust. Detour to my apartment. See what's what. I'm gonna check on my house. Usami chan. Hey, wait. You stay here, Miwako. She won't be here, I but. If Senpai's here. Hey, there a reason you picked this place? Sentimentality. Well, maybe she's gotten hungry. There's a lot of food places here. True. She couldn't have eaten while she was knocked out. What is that? Oh, hey, it's... Uh, is that BJ? Oh, maybe Ryoko's chasing BJ. Looks like an RC helicopter. Is that thing with the kaiju? Nothing in there. Any luck? She here. slips and slides in this chapter like she's all nice. It's weird. No 
No. We need to exp I just need to talk to Ninji again. Did you find footprints? <sighs> Thought I had something. Nope. All right, now we'll go to the school. Guess this was the wrong place. Where do you think she went? Who knows? I don't got a clue. I guess we'll head back for now. Well, maybe we check the dead kaiju first. Just to exhaust our options for dialogue. Check out the kite. You stay here, me. We'll never know when that second here might come back. Shino no me, senpai. Hey, this thing's dangerous. You know that, right? It's but super dead, Denji. Ten minutes. I'm not hanging around here any longer. It would be really that. funny if the game forced you to leave after ten real world minutes. To the school. All right, let's check somewhere else. All right, Denji. Let's try checking the school. Senpai might have had the same thought. Let's do it. It's all the way around the bend. Miwako, wait here. <laughs> Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. What if we accidentally strand her in the future? What if we get sent back? And Miruko is left here. That would be horrifying. I mean, it doesn't happen, because Miruko is present for the invasion in 1985. But... Is it alive? That another construction machine? I bet that's what dug the hole. What's the point? They trying to make a nest or something? Good question. That thing's a construction machine for developing planets, right? Would it dig up a hole for no reason? Maybe there's something down there. Digging for the UFO. Underground. Like what? Dirt. No, wait. What era is the UFO in the satellite? Or is the control room in the satellite? Was it? Oh, shit. Are we in 2025? I think we are. I'm just saying. Well, so much for this place. There's not a single person here. Let's keep looking around. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Hey, there she is. Operating on robots, apparently. Shinonome, senpai. She's gonna pull a gun on us. Hey, wait! That can't be good. It's that android from before. Is it broken? Oh, is she turning it on? Guess there's our answer. So where does the Toby android come from? Uh oh. We're surrounded. Who saved us? Miracle with the win. Oh, A. Serves you right. What's up, A? Hey? hey, uh, thanks. Who are you? The name's Sekigahara. 
You're Tomi Kisaragi, right? Didn't know any of you were left. Oh, Shinonome Senpai is gone. Well, she was there. Dude, it was just a second ago. I guess she ran away from the androids. So Ryoko san's here too. Are you with Morimura? Maybe. I mean, you've got to be from the future, right? Yes. Quite a ways away. Now listen here. How do you know Kisaragi? That's... A drone. It's a probe that found you two on its patrol. To think you were still here. I honestly didn't expect it. Well, we're stuck. So it told this is, about us. uh, we're from far earlier in our personal timelines than you seem to think we are. Sorry you got caught up in this mess. In any case, you need to go to the underground gate. I'll take you there. What about Mimiko? All the gates above ground are locked. I've been struggling to find my way out of here. You too? We need to go underground. The primary shifter should be there. The other gates all connect to that one from afar. They're merely access points. Underground? You mean... Down there? That's where we need to go? Don't forget me, Wiko. Correct. Don't forget me, Wiko. To be continued! Ah. Uh... All right, let's continue. <sighs> okay, we didn't forget Miwako. Miwako, Usami-chan. This track sounds like something out of Link's Awakening. Did you find Shinonomi some? Sort of. In a word, yes, but she ran off somewhere near the school. A guy named Sekigahara is looking for her right now. Who's that? The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. It's 1985? Really? And we came here to get you. You ready? Y yeah. Hell yeah, let's get out of here. Hard to say if we can trust this Sekigahara guy, but let's hurry. Hold on. All right, off we go. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. Oh yeah, Miwako, you're in for a sight. There's a huge crater by the school. That's where we're going. Oh, really? Is this that robot you were talking about? Well, that's a new Miwako sprite. That's weird. Wasn't there more than one android? Uh oh. Here? Now that you mention it, yeah. I think it is time to go. <sighs> Ryoko san, so you still don't remember? They're taking advantage of your hazy memory. Stop this. Get him. 426, your time is up. Is she trying to beat me down there? Shinonome Senpai can control the. Yeah, animals. that's pretty interesting. She's being manipulated by the one in charge of them. We need to go after her. If she seals off the gate, it's all over. Let's move faster, eh? What's the report? Identified evidence of activity. A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. So how are we supposed to get down there? The crane. Isn't it really deep? 300 meters. That quadruped's got a crane equipped. A crane? That does sound like construction equipment. 
We'll use it like an elevator. How did she already get there? It's been like a minute. It'll take us all the way to the bottom. What about your friends? Hmm? What's on your mind? That guy just now. Are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yeah. We don't have much of a choice. Also, he's defended us for the entire time we've known him. Let's go. Wait for us. Ryoko-san. Wait. What in the fresh hell is this? <sighs> Poor Miwako. This is too much for me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with eyes. Oh, me too, Miwako. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. Look, the same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. <sighs> Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. This is BJ. The pills are in sector four. Looks like something out of a movie set. Miwako? Osami-chan, the way we came in is completely dark. I never want to do that again. Don't Hopefully worry. you won't have to. We'll be home soon. Poor Miwako. Miwako doesn't deserve any of this. She will be. She's not now, though. For a moment, but she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case. Looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. Can I talk to Ryoko? Ooh, hello. What could this be? Interesting. Is everything okay? I finally got through. Kizuragi, what are your coordinates? Is that... Oh, that's... Kizuragi? Told me. That's... My current location is unknown. My sentinel. And even myself. Wait, which of these Tobies is the robot? I don't know what condition we're in. <laughs> and it's gone as suddenly as it appeared. Sentinel number 16 went completely off the radar after that incident I mentioned. What did you do? How did you make contact? Pressed a glowing button. All I did was poke this thing. That voice from the TV screen, didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? Hey, just now, did you call that person Kisaragi? Kisaragi is... The control system for Sentinel number 16. Oh, so there's a, there's a, um, there's a Tomi that got digitized just like there's a Keitaro Miura that got digitized. Why do we have the same name? Because he is you. Rather, a different you. Okay, so does the Tomi ro- is the Tomi robot the, 
um, control system for number 16. I get it now. What do you get? Miwiko, how you doing? Okay. Tell me, Kisaraki. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. Give it another try. Huh? Touch again. If you're there, answer us. I managed to connect to the system and determine my location. The answer is troubling. Oh? I'm outside the world. Ooh. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? This place is not recognized in any era. Are you in Sector Zero? bad what's this universal thing universal control it's here where the primary gate is housed this underground mainframe monitors the world her location it appears the mainframe does not want us to know looks that way so what do we do may we go I think it is time to go. Stop. The command's not working. I'm out of ammo. Inconvenient. I think we better teleport. We need to shift. Gather close. Now. Why do we always come out at Tokisaka Shrine? Where's Miwako? Where's Miwako? Oh no, where's Miwako? I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet. You hear that, Miwako? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako. Oh no. We must have left her behind. Let's go back. It's no use. She's not like us. If she can't teleport, how did she get there in the first place? People here, everyone in the city, we're all managed by that computer underground. Isn't that right, Akun? Hmm. To make sure no one impacts this world, to make sure no one finds out the truth, Universal Control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it. Oh, so it's not letting her go back to the past because she knows too much, but it can't stop us because we've got admin control because we're based on. Um, people in Sector Zero. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. She knew too much. No! 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 I can't continue with Tommy's story! Oh! Gotta do more combat to save me, Rico. <laughs> All right, let's go with Shu. All right. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. 
My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way the school can't get on my case about it. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity. A pop star. Yeah, how does she relate to all this? Is she an avatar of universal control? Is she another admin? <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. It'd have me committed. Man, she's cute. Yeah, the, the teenage romance is between Shu and Yuki, which means that Shu is definitely um, Sector Zero Yuki's ex-husband and Natsuno's dad. Oh my god. That revelation blew my mind. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in Class 1A. No sign of her, though. Well, yeah, she is a delinquent. How about my classroom? I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Toby! And Mirako! Oh, no! Oh, it's her. She's in 1B. Same Mirako, my precious know. child. Oh, she ran away. She's not even my type, but I can't get her out of my head. Must be from all those dreams. Oh, poor Mirako. Mirako doesn't deserve any of this. Oh, I didn't have the chance to talk to her. Because I was looking away, and I didn't press X in time. Karabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. We get back to the future, and Miwako's the android queen, ruling over them with an iron fist. Oh, he's Isn't seen that... the robot. Hey, Miura-kun. I'm Iguchi-kun. Yeah, which Miura? You still on the run? I can't go home. Even if I could, it wouldn't solve anything. Look, you don't have to tell me any details if you don't want to. But it sounds like a pretty rough situation. Well, for what it's worth... Shu talking to his son-in-law. You can crash at my place whenever you need to, okay? I owe you a debt of gratitude for all you've done. Anything crazy happened? We lost Miwako in the future. I'll be alright. I'm staying with an acquaintance now. Oh yeah? Glad to hear it, man. So, uh, what is this thing? Uh... Well, this is... This is me! Don't forget your promise. It talks? Whoa! An RC robot? That's crazy. Is it yours? Not exactly. Wow. Deja vu. Oh, yeah. I feel like I had a dream about something like this. You were in it too, mira -kun. Maybe that's your big secret, huh? You're some runaway hero from a ruined future, here to save us all. From a ruined past, actually, but still. <sighs> My dreams are always somewhere in the future. But I feel like I know everyone I keep seeing in them. Well, maybe I really am just dreaming. Makes more sense than them being premonitions. I don't know if that could really be our future anyway. Everything in them is way too crazy. <laughs> oh, that is the summation of the game. Even that dream. We call the dream with Miura. Was that drone scouting for the kaiju? Hope they didn't find us. Kisaragi-san? Who was this 
great cake shop on the first floor here. And they had this pear tart. It was amazing. And now, even my own apartment, it's all ruined. All gone. Oh no. Hang on. Hang on. What if the reason Sector Zero Yuki divorced Sector Zero Shu is because he cheated on her with Sector Zero Tomi? Are you gonna be okay? Sorry. Just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. My, my voice is all scratchy from crying all day. You sound good to me. And scratchy or not. I'd still tune in to see you. You're such a dork. Let's try to get to the cross-country road. We might see a rescue copter flying around or something. What, up there? The only things flying around are the weird bug things. Nobody's here to help us. Even online. Nothing's getting updated. I think it's like this around the whole world. Those things are raised to everybody. <laughs> how much world is there? Like how everyone in the city just vanished at once. I saw it happen. I bet mom and dad were... That's the part I don't get. Whatever these big killer alien things are, they've clearly got us way outclassed in tech. They can wipe out whole crowds without a beam or anything. And still, with all that power, they come here in this gigantic horde. They dig these holes all over town, and then they just stop. No carnage. They're just sitting there. Like they're waiting for something. <sighs> yeah, what are they waiting for? And us. We didn't get killed or vanish or anything. There's got to be a reason for that, too. <laughs> How are you still this calm? It's crazy that you can still keep it together. Even with all this stuff. I... Uh, I'm really not. Trust me, I'm freaking out too. Level headed a crisis, at least. Look out! <sighs> you okay? Look, it was just a building collapsing over there. They didn't find us. Yeah. What? Huh? Uh, Distracted by my handsomeness and heroism. Well, y you really changed. Back in middle school, you were a total nerd. Glasses and all. It just makes me wonder, why do you make such a big change to your image? Uh, oh, uh, well, funny story. I was listening to one of your streams, and... She's a streamer? You said you'd kind of go for tough guys cool guys that's basically it what oh, that's it that's why you started trying to be such a badass i guess i got the look down but i couldn't walk the walk huh one second guys be right back Okay. Come on. Seriously, this isn't the time for jokes. You were already popular enough back then. Why would you go that far just because I said... Well, you know fate? As in the letter F and number 8? What? That's... actually my username. What? All this time that's been you? Hey, it's not like I was keeping it a well, secret. Well, you were a little keeping it a secret. so far because of him that's why I started getting serious about my singing because he supported me told me I was a great singer well you are a great singer and I um I guess I always sort of had feelings for her over here <gasps> oh bad time to interrupt I can't believe it there were other survivors we came to rescue you Morimura-san, 
Uh oh. Is it young or old, Chihiro? My name is Keitaro Miura. What about you two? I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Okay, it's a it's adult bounty Morimura. I'm so the drone found these two then? Now, who are you? Me? Tetsuya Ida. I'm Tetsuya Ida. Yep. Yep. So why does Shu have a different name when nobody else does except for Juro, who only has half of a different name? Why, I wonder. Cool. Wanna know more? Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so. It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Edith. Okay, so... Okay, so Shu Amiguchi is the same guy as Tetsuya Ida, who's the boss of Morimura. And who's the boss of Shinodome, and who's Fluffy in Megami's head. So why the name change? Who determined that he needed a name change? Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. My motorcycle's a sh I woke up late this morning, but I've got it parked off that way to school, King. Yuki and Ava. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to the... Nope. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that, sending those... I'm... I'm... All right, looking for Yuki, I guess. Yuki-chan's supposed to be in Class 1A. No sign of her, though. Uh, oh, we we talked to um to Toby this time. I see Karabe kun I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Oh, ouch! Whoops! Meet cute. Oh, it's you. Gotta make sure. Huh? Huh. Oh. What the hell are you doing, you pervert? Yeah, Shu, what the hell? Do you think you can do anything you want just because you're popular? Look, I mean, I had this dream last night. I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. What? I'm sorry. What? Now you're calling me fat? What the hell is your problem? What the hell, Shu? Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe-kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. <sighs> Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? <sighs> Karabe-kun might be waiting for me. Well, uh, God damn it, Shu. I should get going. Oh, hey, it's Yori. Hey, 
Fuyusaka. You the only one here? There is actually a story that I've half plotted out where one of the scenes is somebody who keeps getting sent back in time. Her um her de aged, her teenage, and uh and her old woman selves all show up to a scene at the same time. And I promise I came up with that long before I got to um I got to uh, the multiple Chihiro scene. <laughs> Hi, Amiguchi-kun. Karabe-kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No. Well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. What kind of robots? Well, they were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too. In my dream. The sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Or something. That place is... underground? And I saw Usami-chan there too. Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. The lab dream. Okay, so... Yo! And that should work okay. Okay, so that's adult shoe, but he doesn't look like Tetsuya Ida. Okay, this is making... The Toby bot. Memory data is now ready. Is he making the Toby bot because of his failed romance with Toby? Uh, is he? Huh. Tamao Karabe. Thank you, Tamao san. I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida kun. You succeeded with me. I'm sure you'll do fine with her. I'm sorry I had to prioritize her. Don't worry. We'll get you a body too, soon. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's where the Tamau bot comes from. We're gonna get lore about the Toby and Tamau bots. Let's begin. Initializing composition. The simulated personality and memories have been synchronized. Please, come back to me. Tomi, do you recognize me? Uh, Ida-kun? <sighs> Wait, are you his older brother? <sighs> Did he even have a brother? It is you. He looks so... grown up. I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Okay, so... So why doesn't Grown Up Shoe look like Tetsuya Ida? Hmm? I, I can't move. She's having trouble understanding her situation. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Well, that's a little messed up. Listen, try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. kisaragi san you're like me now. An AI. Based on memory data, you are constructed to think and act just like her. So, did, um, did that Toby die? To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh, let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? 
Do what you can. Please. Okay, what do I... Move your ass, you! We've got a problem with the Sentinels, Itakun. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. If we want to disrupt that function, well, we need someone compatible to maintain direct access. And that's where the Sentinel-16 control bot comes from, is this Toby. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. She's calmed down. Really? What happened to the Yeah, room? tell. Well, please be honest. Juro killed you. You and the other kids. And I put him down. Okay, so this is um this is a cycle. How many cycles ago is this? How about talking to the pop star? Um, you in there? Not coming out today? So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Okay, so... I'm guessing that the black-haired Tetsuya Ida, who's been involved in various points and is bossing around Ryoko and using her and um, is fluffy in Megami's head, I'm guessing that's somebody who usurped this guy's identity for some reason. Maybe to... Okay, so that... I'm guessing that guy's going to be the overall villain here. Well, maybe it's too early to say that. We did see Ryoko in Sector Zero um, start the apocalypse for these sectors. Huh. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes. Fuyusaka. Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. She kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. Yeah, everybody should be able to see that. She, at minimum, people should assume that Morimura is Iori's mom or older sister. Give me lore about you! There you are. What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might still take a while. What might take a while? Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else just wearing her face? Good question. There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. Really? Nobody else shares that name? In the entire world? All one city of it? Wait, that's the Toby bot. It's hard to say. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. That's the Toby bot. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. The system denied me access, so I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kinda over my head, but 
I guess the point is, you hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? Overwriting your mind, Shu. It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <gasps> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now. No! Give me more info! To be continued! Uh, okay, I've done Natsunomi Minami's Exterminator event. Let's go. All right, more! <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle, wish that was just... Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsu. We look identical. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's got to be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like, not having a body of your probably own? Probably would be creepy as hell. This dream's probably way what looked like it was in something. Never figured... But my motorcycle... I, but I've... That, Yuki Inaba has been hijacking the airwaves. Also, she can talk to me through the TV. She knows me somehow. Not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. <sighs> I'm still waiting for the punchline here. That's definitely the Toby bot. Man, she's cute. A bomb sh I'm, I'm... Huh? Yuki! I see Yuki-chan. Let's go get her. Maybe Yuki-chan's in the cafeteria. I should get going. Hey, there she is. Oh, Yuki-chan, Amiguchi. She doesn't seem pleased to see me. I was just thinking about you, and now here you I are. I wouldn't be pleased to see him either. Destiny sure wants us to be together. What the hell are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan. Didn't I tell you not to call me that? You like Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health. I haven't had high C in, like, 15 years. Nachan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, I need something else to focus on. Good. Quitting smoking is good. Uh. Yeah, I'll buy a Hasey. Look at that. We match. Like hell, idiot. A little sweet, a little sour. Hmm. You know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. We could go somewhere right now. No. Just gonna press her on it I'm again? On the beach. I know a place with a great view. I said... Take yeah. a note for an answer, Shu. What, you Punch him. Any place you want to go, a place from back in the day, somewhere with good memories. <sighs> Got a place on your mind, or is there a reason you can't go back? Of course not. I just got to thinking. Reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. Haven't seen her since my parents divorced. You don't say. <sighs> you set me up. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. Uh, That's what I thought, dumbass. It's too far. Also, you're being real forward, uh, expecting her to take you to meet her family. No, let's do this. I want to go.
go to? That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Huh? Come on. Hey! This is the perfect chance to check something. After what I heard from the TV last night, I've got to find out. Oh, man, is this going to reveal that there's only the city? Shukun, let me tell you where you are. What do you mean? This is my house. That's not what I meant. Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. Aha! Uh -huh. Just 30 kilometers. Aha! Uh -huh. An enclosure? Hmm. But we still get news from all over the world. You're telling me we're closed off? No, that's too much. I don't buy it. That's a reasonable reaction. So, I think you should go take a look yourself. I'm going to unlock a part of the Suwabuki bypass. You should now be able to see. Oh, the truth. man. Oh man, what's going to be out there? Go to the edge of the world. To the outer walls of the city itself. Whoa. What the hell? How do I agree to this shit? I don't know, how did you? Say something? You ever think anything through on the Gucci? Hey, I can get us back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry about it. How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? Yeah, tell him about your grandma. Does she exist? She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? I used to go to her place every summer. That's a false memory. Walking between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics with everyone. No kidding. I did the same thing in the countryside when I was a kid. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some watermelon. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. And we'd go catch cicadas off the old Zelkova tree up on the hill behind the Tell house. me you didn't eat them. That's weird. What? My grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house, too. And we'd go catch cicadas off it. Oh, yeah? And the river, the watermelon. It sounds exactly like what I remember. Oh, they've all, they've, you've all been given the same backstory. Not that weird. Doesn't everyone remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? No, but that's exactly what is weird here. Well, we're almost 15 kilometers from the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... Force field? What the hell is this place? Well, it's not the exit of the city, uh, I'll tell you that. What's going on? This sure doesn't look like a construction site. It just goes on forever, above and below. I can't even see the end. If they were going to clone themselves, they should have just written their own histories. Um, I guess each of them writing for themselves, sure. Um, but uh, they each of them would have to tailor their backstories to the time period, and I'm not sure they all had more than a passing understanding of the time periods. The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? I don't know if there is a way through. What if all our memories from outside town are fake? What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? No way. I can't believe it either. How could I? It'd mean this 30 kilometer enclosure, this isolated city, is the only world we've ever known. 
Oh, I've been asking about that for a while now. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be good. No, don't reset to the middle of the day. I want to see what's in there. God damn it. Man, I'm really off my game today. Y you're always off your game, Shu. Getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. Okay, so is this why Yuki works with the SIU? And beyond that... Where in the timeline is this? Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my dream, he called himself... In my dream, her soul was in an... S Whoa. This dream's probably way, way... Look, never... My motorcycle's a shiki shiki. I woke up late, to, but I've got it. That she was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. Are you gonna tell anyone else about it? Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. So, how does nobody else know about that? Is is there some kind of somebody else's problem field blanketing the whole edge of the city? That that psychologically turns the residents back when they try to leave I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki chan so much for that now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy <sighs> used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up something tells me that's not really gonna work here yo Yuki wonder if Yuki chan's here aha Yuki-chan. <sighs> Quit following me. Let's go to that tunnel again. We gotta get it on video. Send it to TV stations. Blow the lid off this story. If that was real, we gotta tell everyone. Slow down. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Like, not to know? Hold on. What bigger fish? Because what we found was a huge fish, man. What's bigger than that? I got detention. Detention? I kind of bombed the quiz. I mean, so bad that they're saying my test scores and my transfer paperwork don't make sense. Teen gang lives locally and the civilians were mentioned to be under computer control. Yeah, but they're, if the civilians' minds were under, under the control of universal control... Universal Control would have just been able to rewrite Miwako's memories instead of leaving her in the future. Usually I'd just ditch, but I just got into the same school as Nachan. I don't want to get kicked out over this dumb crap. I see Tomiki Saragi in there. Ah, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? You did just fuck up royally with her. It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. But if I bump into her, things could get awkward fast. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just gotta grab a drink, sit down, and chill out for a sec. <sighs> could use a sugar boost. To the break area! Yeah, a little pick-me-up should do it. Oh, hi, Okido. <sighs> Love me a little fizz. Man, I needed that. Okay, let's think about this. On the bench? Yeah, I only really see this going one way. I tell someone and they dump me in a psych ward. So what can I do? Well, you don't have smartphones in 1985. I'm in good <laughs> Oh, hey, Kurabi-kun. Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see. Why don't we go to your place this time? 
Or you could take him to the edge of the city. Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but, well, right now, I have a guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so, uh, sorry. It's just not a good time. Well, all right. Let's go to my place then. Thanks. Anything to get him away from Megami. Oh, Okino's gone. There was something with the video game, right? Sorry. Looks like all we've got is soda. Thanks, Amiguchi kun. It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. Yeah, but he's rich, Juro, and you're not. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body... So he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> for a B movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. That is probably a real movie that's being referenced that I don't know. Yeah, learn from the lessons. Learn your lesson from how you approached Toby. Actually, maybe I better keep my mouth shut. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh... Do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? <sighs> well, anyhow, want to get food? Yes, let's. We could swing by the video store. Yeah, we've seen this from Juro's perspective. Pick up something new to watch? Oh, speaking of... Before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's memories. Yeah. For you and me. Oh, uh-oh. No, it was, uh, it was... Um, it was Sheba who was the brain Memory implant. Transfer complete. Oh, that's a that's a regular robot. Now, open your eyes, Jero. Okay. Or maybe the name four two six would be more appropriate. Do you recognize me? 
Tetsuya Ida. Or at least an older version of him. I see him has gone a long time. You always seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year we enter the 22nd century. <laughs> no arms or legs. I don't think he wants to dignify you with a face, Juro. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero, brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're going to have a little chat about your research. Ooh. Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the inner line. We haven't seen Sector Zero Juro, which is interesting. Downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success, but all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? All right, electroshock. Did you hit some snag with the method? Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Inflict pain. He's going to implant Toby's memories into somebody. I think this one's gonna escape you. Irika. What's wrong? I found out from Mori Morrison. You're trying to transplant my mind, aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? Well, she doesn't want it. How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. It'll be your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? <sighs> There's... It's a different Toby, Tetsuya. You know she's dead. The girl you're talking to, she's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Juro is absolutely taking this opportunity to uh, interfere with the systems and escape. Even if, even if you steal her body and transfer my mind. Please. Please, I... Without you, I'm... You know I love you. But I can't support you. I can't support this. 
Cybersecurity. Just standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. You could have gotten everything you want. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. Both his means to an end. Tools to be used and thrown away. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I had a couple more questions, but we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Paranoia getting me in. You didn't even keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. <sighs> I've heard enough. No need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here. We're just data. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life, just like you did to me. <sighs> I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. Is she gonna let him loose? <sighs> That's right. Better watch carefully. Oh, he's gonna take her over. He's taken over the Toby bot. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. Are you mad at me? <sighs> yes, she is, if she's even still in there. No thoughts, head empty. to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. Oh, I knew it. And by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? <sighs> what happened? Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? Oh, that's fucked up. A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, me, son. Sorry, but I need this body more than you do. Okay, so it is Juro Izumi in the Tomi bot um, that fought with the Tamal bot and then took over the Tamal bot. Kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Uh, the dream just now feels like it started off the end of the last one. This is so interesting. You saw the video. Hey, man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still the same shoe on the Gucci? Yeah, I saw it, but what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. How distant? Okay, so... Hmm.
Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... he's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea, he doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. Or even that he's communicating with me. Oh, he's being communicated with via the video games. Hang on. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. Shh. Okay, so this is not Juro. Shiba was Juro. Uh, was Juro Izumi. This is not Juro Izumi. I think this is Tobi Bot. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Okay, so what's this plan? Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't going to be some big evil scheme, right? There are schemes within schemes here, Shu. It's not. It's called Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. This is definitely Toby Bot. Hey, dude. How's it going? And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Wow. To be continued! Oh my god, every to be con- Ryoko Shinobi unlockable. Every to be continued is such a pain in the neck. I can, I can do more shoe. Um... Uh, it has been... A couple hours, though. I'm going to take a quick break. Be right back.
All right, back. Back to shoe. Cool. So me and Karabe-kun probably Fuyusaka too. Biggest revelations this stream. Oh boy. Um. Well, we got to see the origins of Toby Bot. Um. We got to see uh, Tetsuya Ida, Shu, and Toby confess their love for each other. Um, we found out that that cycle is that Juro Izumi killed all the kids from that cycle except for a couple of them. Um, Whether it was young Juro or older Juro is a good question. Um, what else? Uh, oh, we left Miwako in the future. Well, not the future, in one of the other uh, destroyed uh, cities. Poor Miwako doesn't deserve any of this. Poor Miwako. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Oh, poor Mimiko. Oh, and uh, we did the shoe event where we... It was confirmed that there was nothing outside the city. The dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> and how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki and Abba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Yeah, I've been wondering about, um... I I've been thinking there wasn't anything outside the city for a bit now. And I was right. Miyuki and Abba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, and beyond that, wish I could pretend it was my own private little... Back in my dream, he called himself Tech. We look identical. <sighs> well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's gotta be the craziest feel... Whoa. The way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. The way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. The big question is, uh, that I have is, who is the Tetsuya Ida we were introduced to first? Who's the boss of Ryoko? Who's, um, Megami's brain ghost cat? Uh, who is involved with the defense of the city in later quote-unquote time periods and who is now thought to be dead. Who is that who's taken Tetsuya Ida's name? And why? So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I just daydream about something tells me that. Yuki, Yuki, you got detention again? No, nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. Hmm? Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super. Yeah, awkward. you made it awkward, Shu. Oh, hey, Juro. Kurabe-kun. 
Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> hmm? Oh, nothing. See ya. Was that him oh, hearing God. from Shiba? That, that hesitation? Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out, too? Oh, something's happening to him all, all righty. It, are those students looking at a nudie bag? Maybe I need some fresh air. They are, aren't they? I don't think that'll work, buddy. Oh, hey, Neji. What's got you so spaced out? Uh, Amiguchi, just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like haven't hell. been sleeping much. Something weighing you down? Yeah, you could say that. Hey, uh, remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh. I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Oh shit. Okay. Having a conversation. I'm stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? Huh? Oh, you know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. They're they're telling the truth and it's bouncing off of each other. Yeah, that's about what I figured. <laughs> oh hi Megami. Oh, totally Are forgot. you gonna shoot us? What's up? Yakushiji san from class one C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. Oh, we've seen this before. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. Oh, right, they are buddies. I'll just get out of your way, then. We've seen this from Megami's perspective. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really, I, I, I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Draws her gun. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? No need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. <gasps> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20. Transmitting. <gasps> Weren't expecting that. Now we get to see it from Shu's perspective. What happens now? What is this? Where am I? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the robot I saw in my dreams? Whoa, shit, this thing falls! <laughs> to be Yai Machi. Oh, oh, it's you, motherfucker! Who are you? Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Who are you? Notify all ministries and agencies and the U.S. military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa-era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Still asleep. Who are you? What's it trying to do? That Sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? <laughs> Who indeed? Who 
Who are you? Oh, I'm in space. Does the U.S. military even exist? Um, there's a lot of U.S. military bases in Japan, so it's not out of the uh, realm of the expected for there to be a U.S. military base in uh, in this city. Um, but their their chain of command would be non-existent beyond the boundaries of this city. Whatever simulated thing there is is simulated. Upper shield. Oh, oh, yeah. Do we get to see the planet? Do we get to see the planet from space? Show me the planet from space. You are now outside the enclosure. I'm outside the wall now. So outside that, it's just space. Is this a space station? What does all this mean? I saw a lot of these huge robots in my dreams, but none of them could fly. That is Sentinel number 20. Are its operator. Okay, so... Okay. So, we've had... Excuse me. The number 19 Sentinels name-dropped before. We've had that number referenced before. And this is Sentinel number 20. Which Fake Eda did not know existed. Huh. Okay. So what's special about you, Shu Amiguchi? Does Yakushiji work for you? The Sentinel was never meant to be transmitted. They found us. Who's they? Intruders from another district. They left their origin point and came to your world. Another district? Wait, there's more than one of these places? We need to hide the Sentinel. I can't do anything for you here. You have to go back to your sector. Go back how? This thing's got propellers. Whoa! We're going down! Well, that's convenient. Uh Yuki-chan, I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Did Sector Zero Shu, um, act like this with her too? Good timing too. Kind of hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number twenty, transmitting. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what uh -oh. happened. We'll take over from here. Oh dear. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Of all possible pilots, I never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. Who are you? We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way. Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Uh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. Who are you? For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. Yeah, say his name! Say his name out loud! Oh, I have to fight to get more shoe. Ah! Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. 
You know what? It's Yuki time. Cool. Oh my god, this game just keeps getting better and better. So many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. This place is a dump. Oh, hey, Jamal. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Erica Iba is her cover. in the first place. Kisaragi. Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. Oh, oh! This is... Um... This is, uh... This is... Tamal bought after uh, Juro took her over from Toby's body or from Toby Bot's body. Ooh. Oh, uh oh. Maybe we should look around the girls' bathroom again. Oh, didn't I tell you? They've started renovating. Even if we can get inside, there's nothing to see anymore. Well, shit. That was fast. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. Record one. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being. In summary, whoa. Aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being. Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? Well, no she wasn't. It's way crazier than that. What follows is an investigative... These God, Yuki's head is full of so many thoughts. Space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. What follows is an investigative record three. He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number Seventeen. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. That damn Four Eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons, too? Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school, but we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? The box. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachan went into the locker room to get a box and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. It's been several days since Minami san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. 
The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? You're putting on a very convincing show, Juro. Oh, are you giving it to me? It looks half drunk. <laughs> you wish. Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson. Erica Iba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. Okay, that's two layers of obfuscated secret identity. Uh, Tamao Karabe pretending to be Erika Aiba, except it's now Juro Izumi pretending to be Tamao Karabe pretending to be Erika Aiba. How would you like to start? I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Freaking weirdo. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. Alright, let's go. Guess I'll grab my bag. Oh, I'll go with you. You're just like, no, please don't. Oh, great. Oh, Yo. All right. Out of my way, punk. <laughs> you try to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you really have crap timing, Iba. Uh, um, Takamiya-san? Are these people... Pretending to be scared, Juro. Friends of yours? That's right. And if you're friends with her, that means you have to be friends with me, too. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh, uh, you think you can threaten me? Bastard. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Head of your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Stay back, Iba. Maybe this time it'll stick. Oh, did Juro call the cops? All right, break it up. There's specifically a juvenile division in the police station? The school called the cops on me. Hey, buddy. Can I go home now? <sighs> no. Damn it. Four Eyes isn't gonna shut up about this. Oh, it's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. Quit pacing. Just stay still and stay quiet. No. I'll pace all I like. Hey. Just wondering where the ladies' room is. <sighs> all right, fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. Can I sit down? I'll take over from here. Yes, sir. Hello, been a while. Onishi the ogre. Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. So, what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. I've been worried about you. They took you away, and I didn't even know you were transferred. Wait, is this her dad? What happened? Are you involved with the SIU? Tell me what you know. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. 
Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. I took her into custody. Shinonome? But just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there. Just before they covered it up in a tank. And now you believe. And let me tell you, that thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town, and I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? You'll tell me what you know, won't you? Shinonome and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember, in Nachan's notebook, she wrote about time travel and a robot that fights. Onishi the Ogre may just be another old fart, but he's an old fart I think I can trust. Maybe I should talk to him and have him help me, too. Natsunomi Nami has been missing since last week. Yeah, Onishi cracking the case would be hilarious. Are the police even looking for her? Natsunomi Nami. Huh. The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open. So, how much do you already know? about the SIU. It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups, but it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Now, I don't know how much of this is true, but according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons, and there are miners involved. They told me to watch him. Which is why they transferred me. Right, the Miner. nuclear weapon cover. Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. The thing Shinonome claimed to have arrived in is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. If I can get there, maybe I can finally figure it out. What the machine is? And what happened to Nachan? Don't to be continued. Don't to be continued. Okay, good. After hearing what Onishi the Ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there. But the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. So, wait. There's open ocean. How do they keep people from sailing off the edge of the world? Neji and another dude. Ogata? Huh? Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought, don't you live near Nachan's house? Yeah, when we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. Where are you going? Oh, well, uh, to see the ocean? You all right? So where's your minion? Decided not to follow you around today? You mean Erica Aiba? Aiba? You're in class D, right? Oh, he knows her as Tamao Karabe. She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Aiba. Aiba's been absent from school for a while now. The next stop is Akebi. Akebi. Oh. Interesting. Gotta switch trains at the next stop. I'm gonna take off. See ya. No, tell me more about Erica Iba. Not Iba? Then who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I 
guess just myself now. Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see... ...the weapon at Shikishima. <laughs> Security sure is crap. Yeah, you're telling me. Sneaking in was almost too easy. Though, when it's this damn dark, it's hard to see much of anything. Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then who's the person that's been following me this whole Good time? Good question! And what does she want with me? Huh? Where's that light coming from? Wait a minute. It's my skin that's lighting up? Well, that explains Who's there? it. Hey, Ryoko. Wait, I know that voice. Ryoko Shinonome. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> I should be the one asking you that. Hey, you... Your leg is glowing. What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? being called by the 14th sentinel son of a what the hell is that it's a giant fighting robot is this the thing that was being moved through the streets this is a weapon we will need it for the high radio and you are one of the people who can pilot it. Okay, so is Renya involved with not Ida or uh still? Or I thought everybody th he was associated with thought Ida was dead. Yuki Takamiya. You I remember you from the list. You're Renya Koto. What do you mean one of? This is my sentinel. Sentinel? What follows is an investigation. Uh, oh, I've got new stuff in the notebook. What follows is an investigation. These advanced life forms have managed. Who could have dreamed that the an actual gate? Uh, what follows is, an is the robot in record three? He says he's looking for. It's called Sentinel Numbers. Writing inside of it seems to. What follows is an investigation. I guess I'll read record one again. I have finally. Why is it still green? Maybe I show it to people? Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons too? Uh huh. So this is the weapon Shikishima made? No. Shikishima did not make this. We did. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective. This world is nothing but the past. You mean time travel? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. God, knowing knowing Yuki is a fucking professor in Sector Zero is so wild. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> We're not done talking. So this is the Sentinel? This is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. As if that's more believable than aliens, Ryoko. <sighs> Get out of my way. Or am I gonna have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all... You, too, have a part in this. I don't have jack squat to do with this! Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me, but I've had enough. <laughs> what did you find? Hi, Chihiro. New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? They must be close. You're... from the nurse's office. I'd like to research you a bit more, Yuki Takamiya. What are you... <clears throat> All right, to be continued. 
Yep. <laughs> I've done Natsuno's exterminator event. So I can continue Yuki. Alright, what do we got? I can unlock more Ryoko. Uh, uh, I've got to do Yuki to unlock Natsuno. Takatoshi to unlock Kitaro. I need two more people at level at 80% for Takatoshi. Okay, we'll get there with Ryoko. I don't know if we'll get there with Yuki. One thing I hate in this game is how often it goes from dramatic scene, dramatic thing happens, to be continued, and then it just starts the next part at school. Uh, not elaborating on what just happened. Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Burbs! Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's completely forgotten. Hi, Juro. But she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. We confront er we confront Juro here with that uh, information, and he kills us on the spot, giving us a game over. If that's true, then who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another kids. Snatchon was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it, that projector I hid looks a lot like a box too. Could it be the same one? Snatchon, my old witch. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility, but what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. Some flirty rich case. There you are. I've been looking for you. Have you now? You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes, but I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. By design, I'll bet. Don't you have anything better to do? I will do my best. How would you... Okay. That thing I hid. I need to take a closer look. But I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. Okay, so we gotta... Yeah, give it to Aiba. Okay. Sorry. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Don't sound so disappointed, Juro. Smells like mold in here. I saw something that looked like a weapon, and but what Goto and Sheena maybe they let me to get to the organization behind the scenes. It's in here. Not in here anymore. Oh, okay. Somehow able to project things. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? Box. I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> uh oh. Yuki Takamiya. Uh huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. Uh-oh. There's valuable confidential information in there. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. 
I came in here because I thought I saw him. Eiseki Kahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. Oh, hi. I don't think I'm that. <laughs> hi, A. Ooh. Well, he's dead. <laughs> well, not really, obviously, but... Oh, shit, he was drawing a gun. Okay. So let's think for a moment. Fake Ida's organization is trying to stop A. Because they think he deliberately sabotaged the Sentinel program. Right? Okay. So Fake Ida is ostensibly on the side of the Sentinel program. Hmm. I mean, still. Weird. Oh, it's you. Hey, old guy. Oh, she's shaken up. She's never seen somebody get shot before. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? Ooh. Okay. So Miura doesn't recognize Yuki. Yuki. Interesting. I'm Yuki Takamiya, but that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Well, let's go. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Hell yeah. Oh, don't to be continued me. Don't to be continued me. Okay. That clock is a lie! <laughs> Where are we? Where's Nachon? Where else could she have gone? I can't believe this stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachon been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. Ruined future. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. <sighs> what? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels? We need you for this, too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it Number 14. That's Ryoko-san's Sentinel. <laughs> He's back. What'd you find, BJ? Right on time. So? 
What'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. You've got some good sensors in that thing. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth. If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. No. Okay, we're not blocked. Good. Whoops. Huh? Okay, we're not blocked from nor for more Yuki. What? 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 No! Stay in the future. Hi, Jiro. He's on the run from those black suits. Name's Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. Jiro inspecting his, uh, his nail polish. Didn't realize he'd get that into, uh, into it. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook. She must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. We finally found out where Nachan is. She's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet. But I will save her. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. Some flirty rich kid won't stop following me around. He's... There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better? I will do my best to... How would you like to start? Uh, can I tell her to fuck off? Are you upset with me? Just been antsy with... So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <sighs> I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? Okay, we gotta we gotta find a way to ditch Iba. Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another kis Kisaragi is also so that means. All right, so we're about to do something with Toby. Megami. Hey, you. Got a sec. You have more questions. I already told you. I Juro. Two Juros on screen. Hmm. Come back, Juro. Damn. Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Oh, I have more to say with Megami. Sorry for bothering you. Okay, maybe I missed my chance to do something with Juro. You want something? Nothing for me. Thank you. She doesn't eat or drink. Yuki chan, Amiguchi. I'm telling you. Destiny sure was. Oh, we just dead. saw this. Uh, this again. Mm. 
Wait, hang on. Tomoe Bot wasn't in the scene when we did this as shoe. Are we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Tomoe Bot is an illusion. Just like Juro was hallucinating um Sheba and Megami's hallucinating Fluffy. Vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. What the hell do you want, anyways? How about a date? No thanks. I mean, really. How many times is it gonna take for it to stick in that floppy haired head? Oh, maybe course? we didn't just see this. How about. Until you go on a date. Okay, this is a different scene. I got my bike with me today, so I was thinking. Ooh, a bike? Sounds wonderful. Okay, she's not an illusion. Who's this? Apparently, she's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> Are we looking for... Nah, I just want something to keep my mouth... Sorry, pretty boy, but I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me for being too aggressive, you know. You've been plenty aggressive already, Shu, with other people. Huh. Yuki-chan, next time's a date for sure. Uh, well then, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, um Tetsuya Ida Sector Zero Tetsuya Ida is definitely Natsuno's dad. Oh she she's already called out that she misses her cigarettes. She's trying to make up for uh not being able to smoke. She is an addict. Oh, oh, hi, Morimura. I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Juro trying not to be noticed. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if you need help with anything, come and see me anytime, all right? Small note, ooh. Tamao-san. Tamao-san. I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? You need to check back in with me, understood? Ooh. <laughs> Morimura gave this note to me. <sighs> Shit. She wants me to do something. And the first step is talking to Iva. Oh, boy. There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. Sure it is. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes. But why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Oh, Seki Gahara. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, what are 
you doing? Is that Tomi Kisaragi? It hasn't been Tomi Kisaragi for a very long time. It's a machine made to look like her. An android. <gasps> Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. And they think that A is 426. I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna go poorly for you, Yugi. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but... They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Because the only person who always seems to be around me... ...is you. You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. And what do you think is going to happen to you now that you're confronting her about it, Yuki? A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> you think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time, I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. So this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. So they, they caught on, huh? It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar Project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now. But the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. Oh, man. It's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why. I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Oh, wow. That blasted her apart. Iba, stay back. It's not dead yet. You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with... Are you going to jump in the river? Yep, there she goes. Or he goes, I guess. He jumped. Well, balls. How's he going to come into play? All right, rando cop. Rando cop, how do you feel about what you just witnessed? I saw something that looked like a web, but meant to get... Yeah, random cop. 
what are your thoughts on this situation? Yeah? Yeah, you having a you having a time of it? Are you even thinking about what's going on at all? All right. Jumping from this height in the state he was in, not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. No thoughts, head empty. <laughs> in contrast to Yuki, who's had nothing but thoughts in her head for a while. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Aiba. To be continued. Ah. Uh. Oh, I can do Yuki's final bit. I'll bet the Juro Izumi stuff doesn't pay off until, um, it doesn't pay off in the story bits. I bet it pays off in the, uh, combat section of the game. Cool. All right. Oh, thank God we aren't going to be hounded by Erica Iba anymore. Forget her. I need to find Nachan. You know that wasn't a her, Yuki. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. A city in ruin. Is I... Erica Iba is a robot? Or, more accurately... A criminal by the name of Juro Izumi, who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. Man, knowing the context for where Toby Bot came from now is... It was such a weird thing. Um, back when I f first encountered her, or I guess him. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now the robot's brain is in Iba's body. So the box was in the... How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. The more pressing question is, can she find a uh, a can opener? I saw something that looked oh, meant to get some flirty. Hey, Megami. Hey, you. Got a sec? You have more? Juro! I told you everything. Juro, get back here. Juro! Juro! Damn it. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, maybe this is when Yuki leaves town with Shu. Yuki Cha Amiguchi. Hmm. You're not with that girl today? Uh, a lot's been happening lately. Today's not a good day. Hmm. See ya. Yuki Chan. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. <laughs> Thanks. But no thanks. I guess we go to the old school building. Hey, 
anyone there? Are you in here? Maybe we've already had the bike ride? Where is he? He said he was going to be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> Sup, guys. Sekigahara, what happened? The nano machine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <gasps> um, hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in sector. Okay, all right, let's go save her. What? Mayora? It is only speculation, but there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great. Let's go get her. Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? It's a gun, Yuki. Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> Where is she gonna hide that? I ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that. Oh, this is before all that. Will you be okay by yourself? <sighs> Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. To Sector 3! Let's save her. Oh, let's go get her. Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean not John? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. I'm ready. All right. All right. Let's do this thing. Maybe we can save Mimiko. They're back. How did that not see her? They won't come in here. But if I take even one step outside, they'll attack. Ah, that explains Ever it. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty, too. Oh, what should I do? Okay, so this is after she got shot. Am I going to die here? Without anyone knowing? A pretty good shot. Oh, right. Uh, I'm controlling that. So it was like, Mom? Yuki chan. I finally found you. You're safe now, all right? I know. But why are you here, Yuki chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Not chan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki chan. 
Yeah, let's get away from the androids before they resurrect. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you with everything I have. <laughs> oh, thank God we saved her. I mean, of course we were going to save her. She's playable, but... Natsuno Minami unlockable. Oh, we've got more Natsuno time. We've got more Juro. We've got more Ryoko. Uh, complete Juro Karabe's Juro Karabe event. <laughs> oh, let's do Natsuno. It's Natsuno time. Okay. Let's see how Natsuno finishes off. pops up here are you going to summon it right now perhaps we should wait until nightfall well we're going to send it right back aren't we if it's only for a second then we should be fine i want to change the registered pilot of sentinel number 17 to you Natsuno. wait right here why i was previously using miura's id It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. And this change comes with a... Are you going to deactivate for good, Miura? It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Oh, good. Good thinking, BJ. Well, you know, from now on, Sentinel number 17 will be... Oh, that cutoff means he's about to get shot or something. Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot, and I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. Oh, Yuki, you will be. Don't worry. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together and survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Natsuno, it's time to activate. Okay. on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't Oh, he overrode himself. AI data. Oh. So in order to make room for the logs, he deleted himself. Oh, man. No. No, you're wrong. He's just pulling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. Well, goodbye, Miura. You left it in our hands and we'll will kick some ass in your name. BJ. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, 
and I'll be story cleared. Oh man. I had uh, I had weird expectations for all these these final things because the first two we got had big old love confessions in them. Uh, okay, let's let's see. Let's start with Juro. Juro, we can do. Iori's done. Megami, we need to do stuff with Juro. Uh, A, we need to progress stories to eighty percent. Uh, Renya, we need to progress stories to 80%. Everybody but him. Uh, Natsuno is done. Uh, Kitaro needs Takatoshi. Takatoshi needs one more person at 80%. We'll probably unlock that shortly. Neji's done. Tomi needs combat. Shu needs combat. Yuki's done. Ryoko can be done now. Uh, okay. Okay, so our options are Ryoko, Juro... Ryoko and Juro. Uh, let's do Ryoko. We're the final stretch, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, after I finish all the story stuff, I'll definitely do all the tutorial fights again to recontextualize them. your time. Do you know where you are? It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. Izumi kun. He has the same symptoms as I do. Right, she thinks Karabe is easy. Number fourteen. Number fourteen is my sentinel. Run away. Run away? Why do I need to run? Well, you just said why you why you need to run with the ampule thoughts. Hey, Sekigahara. Akun is a year younger than me, and a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? Fuyusaka and Kisaragi. Class 1B, Yakushiji and 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. The coordinates for shifting through time, they're set in 40 year intervals, so we can't travel freely. <laughs> the revelations about what's actually going on, and then going back to all these people talking about time travel, is so funny. These pills are hard to swallow, but it's the only way these headaches will go away. Eiseki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida. He didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? Mr. Ida. He... My head. It hurts. Oh, I... right. You have a time limit with Ryoko. Answer the question. 1985. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right? I see. I just forgot to take my pills, that's all. Uh. About Mr. Ida. Where is he? He's been missing ever since the battle. You don't remember? We're still unable to time travel. I already know that. Just tell me when it's fixed. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. Are you alright? <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. She's been doing nothing but rest. Alright, uh... Toby! Kisaragi-san, 
Can I talk to you? <gasps> yeah, distract him. Is there something oh, poor me, we kill. Uh, I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. It's empty. That was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. The nurse's office should have some. Takatoshi! I can't talk to it. So cold. So sweet. I can't get enough. Yeah, so does real grand. What seems to be the matter, young lady? Nope, I'm already gone. Oh hey, Iori. It's open. Alright, let's find some pills. Good. Now, where are those pills? They were around here. Where are they? Uh The label says NM02. So she injected you with nano machines. What is Morimura thinking? Why give Yori Fuyusa? There's a student asleep in here. Alright, I gotta hurry. This girl. She looks Oh 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 flashback! Did I do it right? Medication record. Maybe there's something useful in here. Medication record. Iori Fuyusaka. Nano machines anchored. Memory transplant. Attempt number seven. Memory transplant. It can't be. Ryoko Shinonome. Uh. Memory separation. All right, I gotta hurry. Third, Third phase, phase, as with Joe Izumi administering personality synthesis. Oh, where's Goto Kun? Uh, you didn't have permission to read those. To read what does this all mean? It's a necessary well, measure. Well, did you find the culprit? Or what are you planning? You're, You're in even worse condition than I thought. Ah, you need to take, you need your, to take your pills. pills. Terrible. How much can you remember? As I suspected, you're starting to disappear. Okay, all right. Was that correct? Sure. Or is that just going to bring me back to this cycle? Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Are you all right? Yeah, I think I did that one before as well. Alright, let's get Miwako to distract him. Kisaragi saw can I talk to you? <gasps> Is there something I can Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? No, oh, no. I'm sorry, but I must be going. Uh, senpai? Oh, I didn't lose him. Maybe I talked to Megami? I guess I have to talk to Toby about running. 
Oh, it retries from the beginning of the room. Okay. Kisaragi, can I talk? In the cafeteria. But I took my pills. Shoo! Senpai, are you all right? Who are you? Come on, Senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi. I don't know you. That's Tetsuya Ida, Ryoko. Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then, why does he seem so familiar? This isn't right. I just took some. Oh, I'm running out of time. I've already done this. You should probably go to the nurse's office. I'm fine. I just need to take... Oh. See? Better now. Those are fast acting as hell. All right, we've ditched Goto. Yuki. Empty. I guess they're done selling. <laughs> My head, it hurts. That girl. Shinonome, what are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on my head. Alright, that's my last dose of pills. It's, um, that was hmm. the nurse's... Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? Tetsuya Ida. From the Special Investigations Unit. Uh, Mr. Ida. But why would he... You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? Yes! Yes, we haven't done this! Whoa! What in the hell? You drew a gun on Ida. That's out of character. What do you know? Sakura High, Sector Four. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Omiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Did we? Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. <sighs> But, you having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. Oh, the shiny glasses. Come on. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside. Like nothing. He sure was. Also, you could have a do-over. With her. Shinonome-kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab... I can't take it. You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. Oh! W wait, Shinonome-kun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. Oh, shit! Well, that answers what his plot involvement's gonna be from now on. Interesting. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. I st 
still don't really understand. Why did you do it? I thought... A recording? A recording of what? No, stop. I don't want to remember. No more, I don't want to. The recording, remember! There's no time. I need to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Eda's research. Okay. Block 3214. And then... <gasps> research on AI? The data's gone. Strange. The log just ends here. Uh, the log from the actual Eda. Check final log. The most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been... 2102. Uh-oh. What's over here? Nothing. Final log. Show me the fu- Alright. That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage... Is this Ida going to be... Wait, hang on. Is Ida... Um... Is the guy calling himself Ida, has he been brain-jacked by Juro Izumi? I'll find out... How many Juros are running around right now? All right, a flashback within a flashback. I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. You made that body just for me. No. I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another, right away. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the compatible. Ooh, ooh! By putting our bodiless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. Well, that's where Miura and... Uh, where the Miura bot became a thing. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. Hijiyama? A, a Hijiyama bot? They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Ito. Look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Itakun. Tomi. Please, put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm going to shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. Oh, man. None of this means anything if you're not here. Okay, so Ryoko's looking at this, Ida.
and is thinking that the fake Ida is him. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over from the beginning? From that day. Oh, Ada, come on. Transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. <sighs> to be continued. Oh, I need combat for Ryoko. Come on. Ah. Okay, we've got Juro. Uh, we've got Takatoshi. And everybody is either Megami who needs Juro or needs combat. Okay. We've been going for four hours. And there have been some crazy, crazy revelations today. Um, I think we'll stop here for the day, um, and do more story stuff next time. Uh, we're gonna do this at least, uh, two streams next month, um, because I do still have some time I need to catch up on with this patron. Uh, let me see how much time I actually owe this patron. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I owe uh, 12 extra hours to this patron because I've fallen way behind. Um, uh, yeah, I, uh, I've got some catch-up to do. Two streams next month should hopefully be enough to actually finish. You're damn close. It's, it's seeming that way. I'm finishing up a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. I'm at very high percentages or cleared with all but two of them. God, this is wild. This game is wild. Um, yeah, that's where we're going to end for today. Uh, so I'll read my schedule and get off. Before I do, I would like to plug my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash loreweaverstreams. The link's also in the description of the YouTube video and can be found with the exclamation point Patreon command in Twitch chat. I make my living off of Patreon. It's my sole source of income. Um, and I make enough to pay my rent and my bills, barely, but I'm mostly just scraping by beyond that. Um, and I'd really like to have some stability, some savings for medical emergencies, for if I need to replace stuff, even just spending money. Um, I would, I would really like to have that. And I haven't had that for a very long time. So if you could go to my Patreon and pledge a dollar a month or a dollar per stream or anything in between, there's actually a slot open where you can pick a game for me to play once a month. Uh, so pick that before it's gone. Um, I'm grateful for whatever you guys pledge. Uh, I'm grateful to everybody who pledges because you're the reason I have this strange, silly job that I love so much. If it weren't for you guys, I would still be a telemarketer or a burger flipper or some other horrible thing that I would hate and would suck my soul out. So, thank you. Um, I'd also like to plug my YouTube channel, if you're watching on Twitch, at uh, Loreweaver on YouTube. The exclamation point YT command in Twitch chat also gets you the link. I upload all my streams there. Everything from the last eight years is up there. Uh, I'm sure you'll find something you like. Go check it out. If you're watching this on YouTube, I stream live on Twitch almost every day at 1 p.m. EST uh, at twitch.tv slash loreweaver15. The link's also in the description of the YouTube video. Come hang out and chat while I stream. It's a good time. Love talking to people. Uh, finally, the schedule. Tomorrow, we'll be finishing Hotful Boyfriend for a patron. Saturday will be uh, our weekly Final Fantasy XIV stream. Sunday, I'll be continuing The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky second chapter for a patron. Monday will be Persona 5 Strikers for a patron. Tuesday and Wednesday will be In Stars and Time for a patron. 
And Thursday, I don't have anything planned. We'll see what we see. Hell, maybe I'll stream some more of this. Who knows? Um, probably not. Uh, but um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next